Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and today we're going to be checking out the Google Assistant which has recently been announced for beta on the Mac. Now it doesn't come direct from Google but it still gives us a good indication of what this would be like moving forward. Now we're also going to be giving it a very quick comparison against Siri which has been on the Mac for quite some time but has been on the iPhone for even longer to see which one's going to come out on top. Now guys, this isn't true Google Assistant, it's actually an application called Mac Assistant, which is a really awesome name in my opinion, but again, it's not direct from Google, it's not a first party application, so do keep that in mind when you're trying it out. Now guys, with the Google Assistant, you do need to keep in mind that it is in very, very early beta. I'm talking like point two. Now one thing that I would say is the developer that's making this has made some really awesome improvements, even from the first to the second beta, including a double tap of the command key to launch the Google Assistant, which is a really awesome way to get to it and as of yet I haven't found any sort of hotkey functionality for Siri but guys if I am wrong let me know in the comment section down below because again using Siri with a really quick action would be really handy in a pinch. Now obviously this version of Google Assistant isn't anywhere near what you're going to be getting on Android or even now on iOS but that's definitely something to keep in mind with the fact that it is a beta and I've got no doubt that the visuals that you can see here and the general look and feel of the Google Assistant is definitely going to come over to this application really shortly and as I mentioned, the guy making this is updating it on a very regular basis. So hopefully he's going to concentrate in the future more on the actual visuals. As in my opinion, the sound, audio and the feedback that it gives is spot on as it currently stands. Now, one of the main things with the Google Assistant is the fact that it is contextually aware. So if, for example, I ask it a weather in a certain area like Cardiff, for instance, then I can straight up follow with and how about Bristol? And it still knows that I'm talking about the weather. Now, that's a really awesome feature that's Siri at the moment can't really do. If you were to ask Siri who Barack Obama is, it would tell you. But then if you were to follow up with and who's his wife, it wouldn't be able to give you the information. It would just do a straight up Google search for and who's his wife and bring up something completely unrelated to what you actually want to know about. So as you can see guys, Siri is a lot more visual. Now keep in mind that the Google Assistant is still in beta at this point. So it's definitely gonna be something that comes later down the line. But for the meantime, if you do wanna get a lot more information, then I would definitely go with Siri. As you can see here, it brings up pictures and a bio of Barack Obama. And as you go into the Empire State Building, you can see way more information than what it tells you with the Google Assistant. And because it's integrated with Apple, you can go ahead and open Apple Maps to get a really awesome 3D image using their maps so yeah, in my opinion, it does bring up a lot more information, but again, it is early days for the Google Assistant. Now, in terms of the look of Siri, I have to say that I am quite a big fan of it. Now, you can get to it multiple ways by going into the notifications on the right-hand side or just clicking on the Siri button. And as you can see here, there's a load of different things that you can say to Siri. So again, it's really informative in what it can do. Now, keep in mind that Siri is integrated deeply with Apple and their ecosystem and all the products that they offer as well. So again, you can do certain things like turn up or down the brightness on your Mac, fiddle around with the volume, turn on or off Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So again, it's got some really deep integration, which is something that I don't think is ever gonna come with the Google Assistant in terms of controlling your Mac in the way that Siri does. And to be honest, guys, that is gonna do it for this video. Now, I'm gonna have a link in the description down below so you guys can go ahead and download the Google Assistant beta for yourself just to see if you actually enjoy it. Now, if you do or you wanna give any feedback, let me know in the comments section down below or on Twitter at Copper vs glass and for more great content don't forget to subscribe if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and i will catch you guys in the next video and don't forget guys if you want to be one of the first people to see this video or future videos then be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell to get notified anytime i post a new video